everybody. Hi. Welcome to my channel. Say hi, Presley. Hi. Tell them how dirty Mommy's bracelet is. So dirty. So dirty. It's kind of... Can I talk to them first? Sure. What are you going to tell them? I'm going to tell them about this bracelet. It's so dirty. It's so dirty. Okay, tell them how dirty it is. Uh, it's a lot of dirty. How dirty is it? Uh, 25 dirty. 25 dirty. She said it. 25 dirty. Hey, so I found a very old Tiffany's bracelet. I think I bought it back in 2000... Jeez. Six? Five? Seven? Maybe 2007. And I remember I liked to wear it a lot, and then I think I threw it in like a not very safe jewelry box and I recently found it as I was going through looking for some of my Kate Spade items for the Kate Spade video that I did a couple of weeks back and can you can you see this I don't know if you can see this this is so bad you guys it is terrible so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to clean it but I'm going to follow the Pandora cleaning method so I'm going to soak it in your soap scrub it a little bit and then use a polishing cloth. So let's see how it turns out. Cross our fingers that we can save it. Can you, I hope I could save it. Do you want to help me wash it? Yeah? Yeah? Now? No. Why not now? Because you want to go to the party? We're going to a party. She's real excited, but it's not till later. So let's get started with cleaning this. So the first thing I'm going to do is soak this bracelet in lukewarm water just with dish soap. So just use whatever dish soap I'm currently using. And a little warmer. Okay. Squirt a little bit in there. Let some water go in. And turn it off. Preston, do you wanna do the honors of putting this bracelet in here? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Thank you. So, I normally let this sit for, if it's Pandora, like five minutes. I'm going to do a little bit more than that. So, we'll come back after this is soaked for a little bit. Okay, so, it's been soaking for a while. Now, we're going to do some scrubbing. Oh, look. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's already losing a lot of some of its tarnish. So that's good. This will make it easier on the polishing cloth. I won't have to do so much work. Look, this part by the clasp is so bad, but we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. It's definitely far from perfect, but yeah, I can tell already. So I'm gonna scrub here for quite some time. starting to get better really better this one is a uh, pretty scratched again I did not take good care of this bracelet I don't know why I forgot I even had it actually I grew up in a city that did not have a Tiffany store, so when I moved to a city that did, I was really excited. I bought a Mama? <laughs> I bought a keychain, a ring, Daddy. and this bracelet. Daddy. Okay, so that's about all we're gonna do for scrubbing because I probably can't tell from the video, but I scrubbed it for a really long time. It is starting to get some shine there. 
So now I'm going to rinse it. Okay, I'm really glad that I went with the soap and water to start with because it did majority of the job. That is actually really impressive. Again, I've never let any of my Pandora jewelry actually get that bad. So I don't know the power of just some good old soap and water and soft toothbrush. So here it is with that. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. I'll pat it dry some. Um, but kind of let it air dry before we go to the polishing cloth. But so far, I would say 70% there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, now that the bracelet has dried, and if you guys can tell, it has already made a huge difference. The areas I need to focus on are definitely around the clasp. That is still pretty tarnished. The back has a lot of black spots on it. So I'm going to take my favorite polishing cloth it is called found the tube sunshine polishing cloth so this polishing cloth works great uh, I do find that I have to like go over my stuff with like a Pandora polishing cloth afterwards just to give it extra shine because when there's a lot of tarnish I don't know for some reason it doesn't I don't know for some reason I still feel like it needs like a shine after. So let's start with this side because there's very minimal black just so we can see what happens here. All right, so I'm going to scrub, scrub, scrub. Ooh, it's already looking pretty good. All right, got some black on there. Got the Pandora, or not Pandora, I do too many Pandora videos. Got the Tiffany symbol looking pretty good. I'm gonna go to the back of it now. So I'm gonna have to like do some work. Oh, and it's coming together. It's coming together. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Or Polish, polish, polish. Okay. Because the back was like completely black and it is looking so good right now. Let's see. You see how good it's looking? Can't tell if it's gonna be focusing for you. Oh my gosh, it's like really good. I am so impressed. Again, because I don't let my Pandora jewelry get this bad. I just didn't know. Like, holy cow. Now I really love this polishing cloth and the dish soap method. So there we go. I'm going to work on the clasp. You know, I'm going to take it off, actually. Because that clasp is still pretty, pretty much needs a lot of focus. And let's go at it. Wow, this is amazing. I am so impressed. Thank you, Sunshine Polishing Cloth. I'm gonna have to buy more. I bought two, because this actually came recommended from one of my friends, and uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I have no idea how to get to these links, so I'm just gonna kinda awkwardly Awkwardly polish them. Get it from there. I am so impressed. Like, I did not think I was gonna be able to save this bracelet. Like, I really didn't. I always liked to be a firm believer in silver and it's sustainability and I just I've never put myself in a position where I had to test that and huh I'm I'm impressed <laughs> the close-ups of the two different pictures are gonna be like so shocking you guys oops 
and we've gone on the other side, but. Okay. I love this. This looks so good. If we didn't have to get ready to go to a bridal shower, I would love to take my time to really get into the details of this, but I'm already impressed. Think, the, the point has been made. I'll take this really quick, okay. So let's take this cloth just to, oh yeah, the one thing I don't like about, I was trying to say this in the beginning, the one thing I don't like about that polishing cloth is it leaves it filling, um, one, it does easily make your hands black, which just happens anyway, but it feels like a dull filling. If I can, if that's the right way to explain it. So this cloth just kind of helps give it some shine. Okay, I'm excited to show you guys the close-ups in pictures. It's amazing. That is, a f gosh, probably 10 years worth of tarnishing that was on that, like seriously. And for a quick cleaning, there we have it. This is now wearable. I might have to wear it tonight. Hmm. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful. What polishing cloths do you like? What cleaning methods do you prefer? I know there's a, quite a few out there. Um, again, I'm very basic with dish soap and water and toothbrush and then polishing cloths. So this seems to work for me. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Do you guys have a super tarnished piece that you're gonna now go try to clean to see if you can save it? Uh, if so, let me know. Let me know if this is helpful. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys next time.